Well, uh, this is a battle where things come very close, and uh, I really uh, had, uh, I was sitting at the edge of my seat because it was a scary battle, and when I mean scary, it was really scary. So, uh, my opponent had some very cool Pokemon in OU. I'm really glad to see Frelligator being used. And uh, Serena, this Pokemon is such a mischievous Pokemon thing that I should use. It looks like a very kick-ass grass type. And uh, Zoroark is always trouble. Uh, you don't see it a lot. It's not defensive. It can die with like one, just like that, one blow, and it dies. And uh, this Parasite thing that looks like a, um, oh, oh well. Uh, it's not exactly a Parasite. Uh, yes, you could say it's a Parasite, and here goes a Parasite Jellyfish thing. I don't understand why it's Rock Poison. Okay, Poison, yes. Why Rock? I don't understand. And uh, Staraptor is always something to be afraid of. Staraptor is such an amazing Pokemon. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite fourth gen Pokemon, actually. And uh, so, yeah. And I have this old classical team that I used. And uh, I was actually intending on using my Sandstorm team. But then when I realized that, you know, this team was up against my opponent, I'm like, yeah, why the hell not? Let's just go for it, you know. Uh, why not? And this is homage to my Rotom. Actually, this is... Uh, a, um, I'm paying respect to Road to March, and this is how, to this is to show you guys how useful it can be, as long as there is no extra girls running around, if you know what I mean. So, no mold here, so, uh, Road to March is pretty much in the clear. He can, well, he basically, uh, can take on Staraptor, the, uh, Nihilego thing. Yeah, he, uh, he can give for Alligator some trouble, yes. He can even give Sarina a run for, uh, its money. And uh, Heatran does not fare very well against Rotom Wash. And Zoroark, well, I just have to figure out which one is which. So let's get into this battle because it's going to be a long one. So uh, in comes the mother effing Starboy. And I knew that that thing was coming in, so that's why I went for my Landorus. And I'm like, yeah, this thing is obviously going to be Choice Scarf. So um, it doesn't look like it's Choice Scarf in the, the uh, it's not a uh, Jolly Scarf. I'm guessing it's a um, adamant scarf because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to outspeed this thing. So I'm going to send in Ferrothorn, which can do huge amounts of damage to this thing. And obviously, any star after that is choice against a Ferrothorn is going to take a crap ton of damage. So my opponent goes for the uh, nasty plot in this thing. And at first, I was confused because I do not know Serena at all. So I'm like, this may be the Zoroark after all. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a problem, and I'm going to send in my Latios because I really don't want to take a Flamethrower from this thing because I had this instinct. I didn't know that Sarina could learn Flamethrower, but I'm like, yeah, something stinks here. So I'm going to go for a Draco Meteor just to kill this thing, and, you know, I blast it out of existence, and wouldn't you know it, it's this stupid Zoroark thing, and it dies. So um, that's one Pokemon out of the way. And uh, this game, it glitches. It glitched at one point because, as you can see, under my opponent's team, oh, well, uh, it shows that Sarina is dead, but it's not. Okay, Zoroark is out of the way. And uh, at the uh, section where, you know, uh, Staraptor was, uh, it showed Sarina's sprite twice, and it showed that it was dead. So anyway, uh, I and it, uh, kind of hit me here Lego, and I forgot that that thing existed. So I thought that I wasn't clear because Road to March pretty much takes on his uh, the, the remainder of his team, right? He can't take on for Alligator. So I didn't want to go for the Volt Switch uh, because I knew that this thing was going to do some damage to me. I went for the uh, Willow Wisp though. It was a good move to go for. So my opponent goes for the Crunch. I'm guessing this is Sheer Force uh, Instigator. <laughs> Uh, why not? That's a cool nickname. So anyway, I do forget that he's at plus two. I brain fart at this moment, and I'm like, yeah, go for a U-turn or an earthquake. But this thing is faster than me, and even at uh, with a burn, even at the uh, at plus one attack, uh, he's still going to take out my landers. I'm like, yeah, okay, come at me, bro. And now in comes the real Metaton thing, which is a uh, Tarina. And um, anyway, I go for the Leech Seed, and to no avail, this, this thing is going to be uh, a lot of trouble. Uh, Sarina, I hear it, even in the Pokedex entry, it's a real prick. <laughs> I hear that when it uh, actually 
defeat its uh, opponents. It uh, likes to kick them in the face uh, while they're down, and uh, that's kind of douchebaggy, and that's what a bitch like Serena would do anyway. So, I'm going to trick a Scarf to this thing because I really want it fucked up. And he goes for the player off, and he destroys my Latios. But that's not a problem. Uh, there was not much I could do with my Latios anyway. I choiced my opponent into the um, player off move. So there's not much my opponent can do except for send out their send out their star out there. And that is not something I want to deal with right now. But I did go for the Mega Evolution, and I knew that my opponent was going to switch out, but not into star after. That is why I went for the sword stance, and that is why I'm going to switch out into star after. So uh, Ferrothorn comes in. And uh, I know that I can take anything from this uh, Star Raptor. So, Rocky Helmet, Iron Barb, Recoil. Uh, this uh, Star Raptor just pretty much smashed its face in, uh, in on its own. So, in comes the bus thing, and I'm like, oh, well, okay, I have no Landorus anymore to take out this thing because I sacrificed it like a bloody idiot to for Alligator. And all I can do here is pretty much wall it with my Tapu Fini. So, uh, I don't think that he could. Uh, you know, hurt me because I do have the uh, Misty Terrain up with will -O So, Nature's Madness is a very useful move. I really like using this move a lot. And uh, this bus thing, oh, it is like a real bus. He trying is such a good Pokemon to use, and he pretty much screws over my entire team. So, Nature's Madness is like a Fairy-type Super Fang. It's not resisted by anything. And it's a very good move to use. Especially for a Pokemon like Tapu Fini. So I'm guessing that my opponent may want to switch out here, and that is why I go for the Calm Mind, thinking that if, okay, if you want to throw flash cannons at me, then uh, I can uh, start. I should have done this a long time ago. I should have set up uh, the uh, Calm Mind earlier so I wouldn't be at this range of health, and then I could have gone for Moonblast, maybe to get a special defense drop, and uh, that could have uh, gone much better. But anyway, Nature's Madness was the best move I could have gone for because you'll soon see why. So, um, Metaton comes here, and um, the stupid Sarina thing is such a bulky monster. It goes for the Trop Kick, okay? It's still not enough to take out my Tapu Fini, because, come on, it's Tapu Fini. This doesn't die like that. And Tapu Fini is not the most offensive Pokemon in the world, and I do manage to do some good damage to this thing. And, well, uh, I wanted to save it for last, because, come on, Tapu Fini is an amazing Pokemon to use, and it's locked into the Grass-type uh, Trop Kick. So, uh, it does lower attack, however, which is stupid, but anyway, I'm going to go for the sword stance just to get my, uh, just to get boosted, and my opponent is going to go for the uh, drop kick again and bring me at neutral attack, which is the best thing I could have gone for. So, I'm going to go for the poison jab just to kill this thing, and I know that Heatran is, uh, Heatran is next, why would it send in its for alligator thing? So, uh, no, I, this is the point where I forgot that Nihilego existed, I'm like, oh shit! Shit, I forgot about this thing. So he goes for the uh, power gym and he completely destroys my Beedrill. I set him up. I set up a special attack boost for this thing. And uh, this is where the uh, icon just kind of glitched. So uh, Rotom Watch is going to go for the um, Hydro Pump and thankfully it connects and it does over half. So it's a two hit KO because Nihilego is a very specially bulky mother. Anyway, so. Uh, my opponent switches out because they do not want to deal uh, with another Hydro Pump right now, and my opponent predicts the Hydro Pump again. So, uh, I do like a quarter of damage to it, which is not bad, and if this thing doesn't have the um, Aqua Jet, well, uh, even if it did, uh, it still does like 20% to my Rotom with a Crunch, and uh, I go for the Bolt Switch now because I know that's a good time to go for it, and I want to get this thing out of the way. I have no Mega B Drill. And this Nihilego sprite thing, it really trolled me a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure uh, if it just uh, switched, uh, shifted on your screen the sprite um, coordination at the bottom uh, of my opponent's team. So my opponent locks himself in Thunderbolt, and I'm like, uh, I really hate this thing. I really, really hate Nihilego. Even in the games, it had this really eerie, creepy thing. Going on, and I really, ah, the first time I battled it, I really wanted to kill it. Uh, so I one shot at it with my Alakazam. Uh, I had an Alakazam in game in Pokemon Sun, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, Niki Lego, it has a very creepy, uh, this really, really creepy, eerie, 
uh, pry, and uh, you know, it's kind of glad that I take it out with hydro pump. So whoosh, no hydro pump misses, and that's what happens when you mess with my washing machine. Rotom really pulls through, takes out fur alligator, Rotom takes out the Niki Lego thing. I'm going to go for the bolt switch. I really don't want to stay in here. I'm like, yeah, Rotom, you're my, you're my last, you're my last hope. You're my last and only hope. Furthorn, get in there, just psych yourself, just die. So he goes for the flash cannon, and I'm like, yeah, there's nothing that this thing can do. So it has lefties, and what I did basically, I just gave him time to regain the leftovers that he lost uh, from the bolt switch attack, which was stupid of me, and he gets a critical hit earth power, but not that it really mattered because, you know, he would have died anyway. He doesn't have any fire type moves so far, so there's nothing that this thing can do. Even if I miss one attack, uh, even if I'd missed this hydro pump, he really wouldn't have done much with a flash cannon, so I managed to take him out, and I'm really glad that Rotom Watch was around. Rotom Watch is such a good, monstrous mother effer. I love you so much, Rotom. Thank you for getting me out of the shits again. And uh, that, ladies and gentlemen, was today's battle. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love using this team. It's done so much for me. So much. Yeah. So many matches uh, and so many wins. And, uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to uh, be posting another battle soon. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. 40 uh, days remaining. And uh, 40, we've reached the 40 day, uh, well, uh, what do you guys call it? It's not a, it's not a landmark, sorry. <laughs> it's a milestone, the 40 day milestone. So in exactly one month and 10 days, I'm out of here. And I'm going to be free uh, from this uh, military thing that's going on. I wouldn't call it an oppression because, you know, it's not an oppression. They're not making me fight a war or anything. All I just have to do is stand uh, still at the, uh, you know, Syntagma Square and uh, at the uh, House of Parliament, you know, next to the um, monument uh, that we have in the center of Athens. And so that you guys can take him, you guys can come and take some pictures uh, with us because we look good in our suits. And uh, yeah, that's all coming to an end in 40 days. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle and I'll see you guys next time.